Hi, this is Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Well, I was going really well, but I have a confession to make. I did say I was going to bust my yarn stash and not buy any yarn for a while, and I did all week. All I bought was a Clover Amour crochet mm -hmm. hook in 6.5 because I'd been saying my hands hurt, and I think it was Wendy, the lady, or that lady said that she used these and it helped and I ordered a four from my local craft shop Crea um, Cairns Create, a small craft shop you can't get the clover hooks at um, Spotlight or Lincraft or any of the bigger stores and they order stuff in for me all the time so that was all I bought and then I was in Big W which is probably like Walmart and saw these on special our um, local AFL football club quite a big club has a Christmas toy drive for the Good Samaritans and I know the managers and the staff quite well and they were saying to me the other day that a lot of the kids 10 to 15 don't get much they get a lot of the kids toys but they don't get a lot of toys for older kids and I have a young girl who comes down to my charity market store sometime who's been knitting and wants to learn to crochet she's about 10 she knits scarves for her dolls and she shows me all the time and that's what got me thinking. These were on special for five dollars. They come with the knitting needles, the yarn, and a pattern to make a beanie. And I bought two of them. I'll put them in away for Christmas for my donation to the sporting club's Christmas toy drive. I thought they'd be great. They buy Sean the Sheep chunky beanie which is a big W brand I'm not keen on Sean the Sheep yarn but I think they'd be good for some girls that are 10 to 15 that might want to learn to knit I think they'd like getting those so because they do up hampers a good Samaritan and they put in food and a few toys for the kids for disadvantaged families so yeah I start shopping during the year if I see something on special that's suitable I get it and put it away and then today after I did my draw, because it's Sunday afternoon, quite late, I had to go out. Um, yesterday I busted my yarn stash. I took um, Krista from Secret Yarnery's advice and I sorted all my yarn stash. I put aside what I give away to charity because I was never going to use, threw some little scraps out and whatever and thought, brilliant, I'm organised, I'm going to use my stash. But I haven't found yarn until today for Billy, the Crafty Floridian's cow which starts on the 1st of May and while I was cleaning up my yarn stash one of my friends saw a yarn I had in navy which you know blue royal blue she likes and she said she liked the pattern and I thought well seeing as I couldn't find anything I would do it for her but I didn't have enough I needed four more and it's quite cheap but it is quite soft so this afternoon I thought it's raining, can't get out in the garden. I dug out to Lincraft and buy four more. But that's all I would buy. I'd be a good girl, I wouldn't buy any more. Well, I'm a yarn junkie. I walk in and Lincraft have 50% off Lion brand. So what do I do? I can't help it. I bought some other yarn. They had shawl in a cake down to $13.30. They had it at $19 a cake, Australian, which is quite expensive. And um, I did tell them that and said that I could get it online in Australia and get it up here for about $13.50. And suddenly it's down to $13.30. So I bought two in that colorway because I really like it and it's called unique unicorn so I got two of those and I like this color too which is if I can find the color guys healing teal and I got two in that color they didn't have a great vast color range but I didn't mind those now the other thing is there was another lady shopping there with her basket and she had yarn that I'd been hiring off from Lincraft for a while but I thought it was expensive and she said it was 50% off so off we trotted together 
and I got some Lincraft Cakes Illusion. It is da -da -da -da, 75% cotton, 25% polyester. I'm not sure if it has a colourway. I've always liked this red. Uh, I don't think I can't see a colourway. It just has a number, and a lot number. So there you go. It's sort of I don't know if you can see like pinkish to red to like a maroon. And I bought three of those because they were fifty percent off. She bought a basket full, and we got talking because she wants to make the Eurogena shawl as well, but she's having trouble reading patterns. So I asked her, maybe looked on YouTube. She said, oh, I don't go on YouTube much. So I recommended the Eugenia Shaw, The Secret Yarnery. She has a, a cow three-part tutorial. And she's going to try YouTube. Because I said to her, the beauty of YouTube is, when you forget, you can rewind and have a look. You can stop it. And as I get older, I'm having trouble reading patterns. And I don't know why. So I wrote that down for it and a couple of other channels, big channels like Bag of Day Crochet and The Creative Grandma to get us started and recommended she join us on YouTube and check out my YouTube and look at some of the sites I subscribe to to learn to do different things. Excuse me, got hiccups. But my purchases of Young Junkie didn't end there because I'm not a big fan of it. I don't mind it. But I will only buy it when it's on special. Now, orange is my feature colour in my kitchen. Not everybody's taste, but I like it. And I bought some four balls of orange cotton to make stuff for my kitchen. Lincraft cotton. It's not bad. It's pretty soft. But it wasn't quite half price. I mean, it's normally $4 and it was down to $2.80 ball. And I bought four of those. So my confession is... I broke my yarn stash non by drought. I'm a yarn junkie, I can't help it. She wasn't the only lady I met there at Lincraft. There was a lady wandering around with a latte Karen Cakes label looking, looking, and I said, are you looking for Karen Cakes latte? She said, yeah. I said, well, Lincraft don't sell them. Spotlight sell them. She goes, I couldn't remember where I bought them and I need one to finish off a blanket. And we got talking and she has a Ravelry group that meets at the same club we have the Crochet for Cancer group every third, every third Sunday of the month. And we were talking about different stuff and how she makes poppies for war memorials like I do. And I'm going to join her Ravelry group and she gets on YouTube. But she recommended a few channels I haven't heard of and I recommended channels to her. And there you go. My first time ever, I have been yarn, sh yarn shopping in Cairns and someone's actually stopped to talk yarn and share. And we were writing that we are borrowing pens off the sales girl who was really friendly. For two years I didn't go in this shop because the staff weren't friendly. And this girl on Sunday is lovely. That's why I go on Sunday. I think she's a school girl who works Sundays. So there you go. I made two new friends yarn shopping. I spent a bit of money. But hey, I will use this because I am going to do the shawl with my friend. Now, she doesn't actually live in Cairns, the lady that wants to do the Irigina shawl. She lives probably 120, 130 kilometres south of Cairns in a place called Innisfail. And I said we can keep in touch via Facebook chat, text and introduce her to Zoom. She said she's not up with all this modern technology, but she's younger than me. So I'm sure she can learn. So there you have it. I'm a very naughty girl. I'm a yarn junkie, but I needed a fix. I really wanted to try this illusions. I love shawl and a cake. I can't help myself. And I can't start to wait. Can't wait to start, sorry. Billy's cow, Crafty Floridian. It is quite a large cow. I think I worked out I'm going to need about 2,000 meters of yarn which I now have and a bit more to spare in case and it's quite going to be quite difficult I think for me but I'm willing to give it a go and my friend is willing to pay for this cheap yarn which was only $1.50 a, a ball but it's really soft it's just they're throwing out the one color and she likes this color so why not there you have it I can't help it
if you've got a cure for me being a yarn junkie, let me know. But I did try Krista at Secret Yarnery not to buy yarn that was on special, but when you love it and it's squishy and it's nice, I can't help it. So there you go, guys. Subscribe to my channel. Keep following my yarn adventures. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And I'll see you next time. But don't forget, have a crafty day.